see how the Iron Chefs handled this. I can make blue corn crusted trout with a smoked red chili sauce. Roasted trout with green and black octopus. Church flavor ice cream with eyeball. Everyday ingredients, not your ordinary dishes. Ten world premiere battles, ten secret ingredients. Iron Chef America, the series. Premieres January 16th at 9, 8 central on Food Network. Now you can see all the freshest designs for great kitchens every week. Watch HGTV's exciting new series, Kitchen Trends 2005. Step inside this fabulous dream kitchen where no expense is spared and luxury is the order of the day. I enjoy having people cook with me. Kitchen Trends 2005, tomorrow night at 9 on HGTV. HGTV's Going Hollywood for the ultimate designer's challenge. Three hot designers compete to dress up one of Tinseltown's most famous hot spots right before the swankiest party of the year. Get great entertaining ideas you can really use. A special designer's challenge, Thursday night at 9.30 on HGTV. Just checking out the awesome palm trees in this Miami backyard. It took a crane to get them in, and that was one of the easier moments of this renovation. Before we get to that, let's meet some Michigan homeowners who needed machetes and chainsaws to find their fixer-upper. I actually refer to it as my happy place because I'm always very content here. <laughs> I miss never true. refer to I this do. as your happy place. Never to you. Michael Abrams and Doug Elliott live in a pastoral paradise, a century-old farmhouse in Michigan, just outside a charming artist community called Sagata. But six years ago, the place was downright uncivilized. There was no running septic, there was no running well, there was no power. And the half-mile driveway was practically impassable. We had to remove some trees. Look out for the poison ivy there, Guard. Where is it? I don't know. I have no idea what it looks like. <laughs> <laughs> three leaf thing, right? Leaves of three, <laughs> let them be. Yeah. Oh, wow. This is this is thick in here. Oh, my we goodness. spent about a week to 10 days to get back chainsaws. chainsaws. The house had been abandoned for a decade. Even the barn was in better shape. And the barn was a mess. And this is what the place looked like? Yeah. The house, the house did. The house looked like this. Absolutely. We kind of keep this so that we'll always remember. Oh, yeah. Be careful what you pick up. Oh, oh, we're saving right there, baby. Oh, oh brave man. Oh, man. <laughs> That's nasty. <laughs> Woo! So when you, you see this house, was it, was it close to a teardown? It was. We didn't want a new house in, on this great piece of land. We wanted an old house. And, you know, you got this history of this 100-year-old farmhouse, and we wanted to keep it. I mean, we wanted to preserve it. It was a monster task. The roof needed reshingling, the siding was falling off, and the raccoons had moved in. This apparently was their wet winter residence. Where the squatters would snack on rafters in the attic. The wood inside the house when we tore out the ceilings, this would be minor compared to uh, what we saw in the house. I mean, they had practically eaten through certain pieces of wood. It's and they came back for the first two or three years. They'd come back every year and try to get back into the house. They kind of knock on the door. Hey, guys, oh. guys, this is our place. <laughs> That's right. You know, they have little masks on so you couldn't uh, identify them. <laughs> Nowadays, only Dog Toba has the run of the house. So this place used to look like the outside. This was originally a screened-in porch. Mm -hmm. And what we ended up doing was expanding it and connecting it to the main living room and opening up all these walls. Including the walls that closed in the once claustrophobic kitchen. Doug, being a big cook, wanted to participate in dinner parties and gatherings. We kept all of this very, very, very open so that you can be part of the living room, the dining room, and in the kitchen all at the same time. French doors make sure even the master bedroom opens to the great room below. Hey, Doug, what can do you, you please want? bring me up an iced tea? Sure. Sound travels well in this wide open farmhouse, especially after Michael and Doug pop the top of the living room. This was originally an eight foot ceiling and we added the monitor up above, which exposed this fireplace. The gray brick was in the attic, the red brick was the exterior chimney, 
and the stone work was original to the house. How important was that to, to kind of keep to the integrity of the house? By raising the roof, we exposed the chimney, and that kind of gave a little history of what we added to the house. The wood paneling was worth recycling into wainscoting. It was the knotty pine that was um, used a lot in the 50s mm -hmm. that you see in like rec rooms. The linoleum, however, was ripped out. Yeah, Absolutely. we pulled up the floor. What was that like? Messy, very <laughs> messy. But underneath the linoleum was a find worth thousands. When we lifted up the masonite and the linoleum, we expected to see just plywood. But then we saw what looked like a plank and pulled up more, and it was just white plank flooring. Never been finished. So, I mean, it was ours. Probably would have cost, what, ten or 15000 to put a floor sure. down like that. The money saved was put to good use. Rebuilding the staircase, redoing the bathrooms, and putting in the perfect porch for napping. And I know Tova doesn't like this room. I mean, you can see she's very stressed. <laughs> Who could be stressed in this place, especially in summertime? We moved in Memorial Day five years ago. And one of the very first things we did was initiate the pool. Uh, albeit quite cold, we had a uh, pool party. And we, you know, we would have friends come out and, and occasionally, you know, after showing them the pictures, the before pictures, and they would look at the pool and go, now, was the pool here? <laughs> <laughs> we just painted it. <laughs> In reality, it was a full year of renovation to save this land and this house. We did save it. It was close to falling down. But I would say that we're sort of naturally inclined to save things. I mean, we, we, we pick up strays off the street. We're sort of attracted to uh, things that were great, and then you can bring them back to life. That's fun. Up next, this truly amazing makeover and the treasures that were hiding inside. We just looked at each other and we're like, my God. Generation Renovation will be right back. The next generation of renovators is working hard to restore America. For more information on HGTV's partnership with the National Trust for Historic Preservation, visit HGTV.com slash Restore America and learn about the people and projects going on around the country. Brought to you by Lowe's. Wednesday on Generation Renovation. A homeowner ready for a challenge. I don't care what it looks like as long as it's perfect. Changes a bungalow in bad shape. Looking at the before pictures, it makes my stomach churn. Into something beautiful. Join Generation Renovation, Wednesday night at 8, only on HGTV. They say everything's bigger in Texas. So for this year's HGTV Dream Home in the Reserve at Lake Tyler in Texas, we made the picture windows larger, the doors wider, and the roof lines extra tall. And that's just on the boathouse. Enter HGTV's Dream Home Giveaway for a chance to win our biggest dream home ever. A 5,000 square foot home privately tucked away in the picturesque reserve at Lake Tyler in Texas. Complete with designer furnishings, hand scraped flooring, a boathouse with a secluded guest suite, and a GMC Envoy Denali. And even a doggy dream home, courtesy of Purina. Brought to you by GMC, Lumber Liquidators. Enter at HGTV.com or by mail today for your chance to win big. Texas big. Check out Design Remix, the new HGTV original series where a homeowner and our team of experts take everything from a room, scramble it up, and put it back together. Designer and host Karen McAloon and her gang use style, smarts, and almost no budget to rethink, reinvent, and rearrange rooms with amazing results. Now we're talking whole new house. Yay! I can't believe it. A series that shows you how much you can do with what you already have. Design Remix, Saturdays at 8, only on HGTV. This Saturday, the country's top dogs will compete in a must-see live event. The national championship is on the line. Over 153 breeds, the best of the best. But now, not only will the judges crown a national champion, you can pick your top dog, too, for the all-new IAMS Viewer's Choice Award. They choose, you choose. Live, 
the AKC Yukonuba National Championship. Saturday and Sunday at 8 Eastern on Animal Planet. An ABC Family original movie. She's the foreign exchange student. Hello? She's the most popular girl in school. Welcome to my world. Miss Perfect is about to meet her match. You replace me? Ah. Oh, my! Piper Parabo stars in an ABC Family original movie. She gets what she wants. Premieres tonight at 8, 7 central on ABC Family. Direct TV, channel 311. Time now for the story behind this Miami renovation. The homeowners needed a little moral support when they found it. So they gathered their friends together right here in the front yard and said, show of hands, how many of you think we should buy this house? We had maybe 60 friends over, brought them all over here. They came here out of the 60, only one person suggested we move. Only one person shared our vision. Hard to imagine now what the Mike Sells friends couldn't see. Dan and Catherine's house today does its Miami roots proud. Built in 1924, it sits in Morningside, one of the city's most historic neighborhoods. The home is Art Deco meets arts and crafts, and it is awesome. So why the wall of resistance? <laughs> Because four years ago, the two were living just around the corner in this house, a house they had just totally renovated. We had five months with no kitchen, no master bath, not really a master bedroom, no family room. And we had literally, literally just finished. I'm talking within days, maybe a week or two. And Catherine was pregnant. Yes, Catherine was expecting this little guy, but his parents had made up their minds. Our lives are constantly filled with unpredictability and chaos, and we like that. And my, my parents think it's, especially my mom, she just thinks we're nuts. Against all advice, the Mike Sells bought the house, and man, what a difference four years can make. Back then, the outside was lost in a sea of old awnings. 59 in all. All of these columns and, and these reliefs here were, were just broken and a mess and there were the steel, you know, the original steel beams that were inside of them exposed and rusted. So the house was just sad. Transforming the house would take two long years. In this room, you needed a hard hat because literally the ceiling was falling down. Paint was peeling everywhere. The wiring was cloth wiring from the 20s. Incredible fire hazard. The kitchen was not one, but two separate rooms with the refrigerator in one room, the oven in the other. Dan and Catherine tackled the windows themselves. Made of leaded glass, they restored every single one of them in every room. Hours, days, weeks, stripping the woodwork with, you know, all those chemicals and gloves and masks, masks and everything Air else. Nets. But the first floor carpet would be their toughest job of all. 30-year-old shag that had worn out its welcome. It took us about eight hours. It's probably the dirtiest I've ever been in my life. But talk about a payoff. We just looked at each other and we're like, oh my God. Room after room of exquisite tile, each designed by a different tile maker in the 1920s. It was almost like Christmas for us, but Christmas at the in-laws. You didn't know what you were going to get from home. <laughs> in the living room, the gift was a bit conservative, kind of like that favorite aunt who always gives clothes. It's sort of simple tile, extremely well done. It's beautiful. Then we came into this room, and when we pulled this up, this was the toys. Colorful, creative, the perfect introduction to an over-the-top staircase. What could possibly compete with this? How about this? Or maybe this? Or this? There are people that come in and go, oh my gosh, the first thing I would have done is gut these bathrooms. How can you stand that purple? And I'm like, how can we stand it? It's incredible. Go on. <laughs> in case you're wondering, tile and toddlers do mix. Okay, big step. Which is a good thing, because this renovated beauty is a home, not a museum. Wow, good girl. OK, 
Okay, okay, there is one broken tile at the bottom of the staircase, but the grown-ups get the blame for that. Needless to say, after months and months of being so careful and just drilling it into our contractors and anybody that walked into the house, don't you dare break a tile, don't you dare break a tile, don't you dare break a tile. We broke the only tile in the whole place and it was like, we just looked at each other and went, <laughs> and so it remains, one tiny imperfection in an otherwise perfect home. Ooh, look at this. What are these? What kind of buildings are these? Dan and Catherine's vision that few others could see has come to a storybook ending. Okay. It was covered in dust, and we dusted it, and the charm came back out. Do you believe we did all this? We did. <laughs> the people that did every piece of this home were artists. And they put, you know that they put their heart and their soul, and they, they took pride in taking a step back and looking at this and saying, I built that myself. These two hands built that. And that, that means something to us. We'll never have a better house than this. Don't go away. Next, we're going back to the Michigan farmhouse to answer a rather burning question. What is the deal with this thing back here? And see how the shaggiest of shacks can become this when Generation Renovation returns. I have one thing to say for the kitchen. Good luck. This is a mess. Ouch. Designed to sell tonight at 8 on HGTV. HGTV celebrates the new year with more exciting new series. American Home, Design Remix, Redesign with Kenneth Brown, Kitchen Trends 2005, Original Specials, Extreme Homes of Europe, The International Furniture Show 2005, and HGTV exclusive events that will rekindle your creativity. Fresh faces, fresh look, fresh ideas. Coming in 2005, only on HGTV. Next on House Hunters, a buyer looks for the ultimate loft. Then it's designed to sell. All next on HGTV. I'd like my computer to slow down. Way down. Slow. Millions down. of Americans are just asking for a computer virus. Slow. Because they're not nearly as protected as they think they are. Like holiday traffic. That's why America Online now gives away virus protection to all our members. Absolutely free. That'd be great. Want a better internet? You belong at America Online. DIY FYI number 77. Changing a broken light bulb. First, make sure the power is off. Then, take a potato and cut it in half. Press the spud into the broken bulb screw thread and give it a turn. Once removed, you can now safely insert a fresh light bulb and eat the other half of the potato. For more information or to find out if you can get DIY Network, visit DIYNetwork.com. This holiday season, the most beautiful blinds and wallpaper for your home are just a phone call away. Hi, Steve Katzman here. You know you can count on me to bring you the largest selection of first quality name brand blinds and wallpaper the easiest way to find exactly what you want and prices that are 25 to 85 percent off retail. Are you ready to purchase? Call now and I'll personally guarantee you the lowest price, free shipping, and my 100 percent satisfaction guarantee. Need some help? Call now and I'll send you our free blinds and wallpaper catalog filled with all the latest styles. And when you're ready to buy, I'll still guarantee you the lowest price, free shipping, and my 100 percent satisfaction guarantee. It's never been easier to buy blinds and wallpaper to help decorate your home. After all, you never know who might drop in. Nice blinds. <laughs> Call now to get your free blinds and wallpaper catalog. Call 1-800-575-8017. That's 1-800-575-8017. Winter design ideas are in season right now at HGTV.com. Welcome back. We're at Doug and Michael's place in Saugatuck, Michigan. It's a gem of a home, indoors and out, with a pergola, perfect for picnics, and a deck that rocks. But when there are 10 acres to keep up, Tova, everyone but the dog pitches in. 
You know who the star of the show is? It's me. Not you. It's me. <laughs> I'm the star. Actually, the backyard is the star of this Michigan makeover. So back here was just as ugly as the barn and the front. Actually, I thought this was really, really pretty. I mean, the, the grass was so high, it started looking like wheat. <laughs> <laughs> Keeping ahead of the weeds is nearly a full-time job. Luckily, keeping the barn clean takes no time at all. In fact, what is the deal with this thing back here? The only horse around has been put out to pasture. That is a little bit of local history. That horse used to sit up about 16 feet on a sign for this little uh, motel that was in town, and it was a landmark. I grew up with horses, so it was the closest thing I could get right now, okay? <laughs> we can leave it here and not worry about it. No pet sitting required or a caretaker needed. So, what to do about this? This was the caretaker's cottage. He lived here full time, and we turned it into a guest cottage. It's cheerful enough to make guests feel comfy and small enough to keep visits short. It's also the final project on the renovation plate. I mean, when we got the place, we made a decision that we were going to do everything all at once. Bite the bullet live through a year and get everything to the point where uh, we just have to tweak it. Now that the dog days of renovation are over, Come on. maybe, just maybe, Doug will find time for a horse that actually moves. We don't know. <laughs> <laughs> I'm Guard Swanson. We'll see you next time on Generation Renovation. This is the renovation, right? Look how nice you guys did. This is beautiful. <laughs> Very brave. Christine Ackerman has been renting a tiny apartment in downtown Chicago's